Hello everyone, this is Mr. Sheikh. Today we are going to learn how to add or remove a user from a SharePoint group. Let's get started. So our case scenario for today is that we have multiple SharePoint sites across which we have multiple SharePoint groups using which we are managing the SharePoint site permissions for the lists and libraries. First of all, we need to gather the group IDs of the SharePoint groups along with the site URLs into a SharePoint list. To get the group IDs, all you need to do is go to the groups page, which is the site URL slash underscore layouts slash 15 slash groups dot ASPX. And it will take you to the groups page where you will find all the SharePoint groups in that particular SharePoint site. To get the group IDs, you can hover on the name of the group. And from the bottom left, you can see that we have the group ID or you can also click on the group which will take you to the groups page where all the users are located and from here you can copy the group id from the url now we need to store all the group ids and the site information into a separate sharepoint list so that it will be easier for us to manage the sharepoint group memberships across multiple sites from a single power app next let's move on to the flows and then go to create and then i'll be creating an instant flow because i'll be using the power app to manage all the group memberships i'm going to request inputs from the power app which is the emails of the users that we want to add or remove the action that we need to perform which might be add or remove so i'll say please select yes to add or no to remove the user i'll request the group id and then the sharepoint site url let's rename this Our next step would be to add an apply to each loop to which we'll be passing the emails. But the emails that we are getting are in the form of a semicolon separated string. So first we need to split the emails. For that I'll use the split function and pass the emails to it. The separator would be semicolon. I'll click on OK. So now we have the array of emails which we need to add or remove to a particular SharePoint group. Next, I'll add an if condition to check whether we want to add someone or remove. If the value of add is true, that means we are trying to add a user to a SharePoint group. The next step would be to add the HTTP actions. That will actually remove or add the user to those SharePoint sites. Next, the SharePoint site URL itself will be coming from the trigger. So I'll paste the same thing over here as well. Next, the method would be post. So now comes the actual endpoint that we need to hit which is underscore api slash web slash site groups slash and we need to pass the site group id which will be coming from the trigger again and the next i'll say users now our next next task would be to provide the body for adding a user so it will generally be the login name which will be the actual claims of the user that will be coming from the array item. So now I'll just say the current item, which is nothing but the email, which is already split from the current loop. One more additional thing I need to do is provide the metadata. 
as the shape point needs to know what we are actually trying to send out which is the type shape point dot user and i'll add a comma the next step would be to, to provide the headers which is accept the application slash json and then code data equals verbose i'll copy this again and then i'll say content type should also be the same so we have completed the http request for adding a user next i'll copy the same headers over to the removal part and on top of it i'll provide one more header which is called xhttp method is delete that means we want to remove the user from that particular sharepoint group and where does this sharepoint group come from it will come from this group and the user to be removed is get by email and the email is nothing but the current item that is in the loop now let me just go ahead and rename everything if action is to add user to sp group and then next i'll say add the user to sharepoint group and the other one would be remove user remove the user from group and let's rename the apply to each loop as well which will be for each email or you can rename it as for each user for each user the action is to add the user to sharepoint group we are adding him to that particular selected sharepoint group if the action is to remove we are removing him now the final action would be to respond back to the power app that we are done adding or removing the users to that sharepoint groups let me just go ahead and save it let's call it power hour add or remove user from sharepoint group next i'll go ahead and save this now we are done with our flow the next step would be to test this so how are we ex exactly going to test this is that i'm first going to select a particular group let's say supervisor group which has the id of 16 let me copy this and then go ahead to test it manually it will ask me for the emails let me check if i'm added over here so i'm already added so let me try to remove myself from this group and then the action would be to remove the user the group id is this and site url as this one let me run the flow done the flow has ran successfully so if we check the apply to each loop it has looped once because we only have one email and the if condition is false because we are trying to remove a user and the remove http action has removed that user from that particular sharepoint group to validate this i'll go over here and try to refresh this page so if you notice i'm no longer part of this group now let's go ahead and create a power app for this let's create a blank canvas app and name it manage sp group membership and the layout is tablet let's go ahead and create that 
now let's go ahead and get our SharePoint list which contains the list of all the groups that we need to manage for that I'll add the data source called SharePoint and over here I'll select the power app and the group would be the list would be uh, the groups list I'll connect that our first step would be to add a gallery through which we can select which SharePoint group we want to add or remove a user from so I'll go to edit fields and then select site as the subtitle so that I can know which site I'm remo removing a user from mm -hmm. let me just expand this a little bit and then let's say we are having a user input and this user input would be coming from process of the groups list that I've created dot created by and then let me change the field type to be a person type and change everything over here the primary text is display name secondary text is email and i'm trying to search the display name <clears throat> next we have the actions whether we want to add or remove a user so i'll just go ahead and add a button i'll call it add i'll copy paste the same thing and then i'll say remove Next, I'll link these buttons to the Power Automate action, <clears throat> which would be add or remove a user. Now I'm going to add the inputs, which would be these inputs that I have over here. And the first input is the emails which should be coming from this particular combo box let me rename it as input email and re let me rename these as well which will be called button add user and button remove user now let me go back over here <coughs> and the email that i'm providing would be input emails dot selected items dot email next whether we want to add or remove because this is the add button let us say true and this would be the group id which would be coming from selection let's rename this as well gallery SharePoint groups now I'll say gallery SharePoint groups dot selected dot group ID and the site would be similarly galaxy groups dot selected dot site now let me close this and when we are passing the email over here the one thing i forgot to mention was that the add user will generally take the claims of the user instead of the login name but when it comes to the removal part we are using the email to identify which user to remove that means instead of passing the email I need to pass the claims and let me grab this whole thing and set it in a variable dead context var users which is these users 
as the flow is expecting the emails to be a semicolon separated string i'll first convert the email claims that we are getting in the form of table to a semicolon separated string so for that i'll use the concat function pass the user variables and then i'll say semicolon claims separated by semicolon so that will give us the semicolon separated claims of the users that we have selected but before sending this out i want to remove the excess semicolon that we will have at the end for that i'll just do left of this particular string and <clears throat> i want to remove the last semicolon there we go before we proceed to the next step let me go ahead and add a rectangle to the gallery to make sure we know which group we are trying to add or remove a user from so this rectangle's visibility property would be set to this item dot is selected which means this rectangle will only be visible when the current item is selected now let's hit play and try to remove the user from this particular group which is supervisor group and let me click on supervisor i'll add my name and i'll say add so it has added me to the supervisor group to validate this i can go back and refresh the groups page and as, as you can see i have been added to this particular sharepoint group now we will copy this entire thing <clears throat> excuse me now we will copy this entire thing and paste it for the removal part but instead of true we'll be hitting false at the same time we don't want to send out claims because the removal endpoint expects its input to be a semicolon separated email so i have replaced it now let me try to remove them and then i'll try to add back myself to the approvers group let's first check the approvers group currently only i am part of this group let me go ahead and add johanna and adley to this particular shape and group now i try to go back and refresh it has added both johanna and adley to that group so there we go we now have a flow that will manage sharepoint group memberships using power apps in our next video we are going to take a look how to get users from a sharepoint group so that we can exactly see who is part of the group through the power app itself and manage the members in real time hope you found this helpful until next time bye bye